freezing cold goes to freeze. There's a lot more cloud over England, you'll notice, at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, but very few showers. There are still some, and the breeze is now more noticeable. It's a northeasterly, 10 to 15 miles an hour. With minus 3, it's starting to feel pretty cold, especially if you take away the sunshine, which, to a large extent, has gone. There is rather more cloud around. It won't be completely a whiteout sky, but less sunshine. In the middle of Wales, it's still freezing cold. It will be minus double figures, I think, for many places. For Northern Ireland, little bits of drifting, freezing fog remain. That was a problem during Thursday in places. Now, as Friday progresses, the frost clearly is going to be there and hard to shift out of the ground. We've got a bit of snow in Wales, the West Midlands. More comes back into northeast England, you'll notice, and more in most of the eastern counties of England running into the East Midlands and the southeast corner during Friday. Some temperatures will creep above freezing in major cities. In rural areas, they almost certainly won't wherever you are. On Friday night and Saturday, again, rather more cloud, rather more breeze. Again, outbreaks of snow in northern England and the southeast corner, particularly the southeast corner, I think, as Saturday develops. Another cold night, probably a record breaker somewhere, but almost repeated tonight to many because the, the bigger thing at the weekend, as you'll notice Saturday's ticking by here and there's still some snow showers, is actually not the snow itself, nor indeed the low temperatures. But you'll notice by this time already the wind picks up. So wind chill for England and Wales, probably about... Derby southwards is going to be really quite significant. So that's it up to that point. What about Sunday? Oh well. Seems fairly likely there'll be a lot more cloud and yet more snow. Persistent and light, but more of it all the same. So our prolonged winter continues. Hasn't been this cold this long since about 1982. Well, next on BBC One, happy memories of Red Nose Day as we catch up with Comic Relief. Wussy might be off, but don't worry, we're still a wound. Join me, Michael and Diane, as we pick through the wackage of the 79th field attempt to unseat the Prime Minister. That's this week after Comic Relief. Sounds about right. Joyce and rejoice, for QI is back on BBC One. That means a heaped spoonful of this. <laughs> a generous handful of this. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. And plenty of Alan Davis sprinkled on top. <laughs> QI, tomorrow at 8.30 on BBC One. Now on BBC One, before the return of this week, putting the fun into fundraising, here's Gary Barlow.